Okay. That's the TV it has like 600 channels. I've never had that many channels in my life. Oh. Uh, <laughs> this is a show that our MC is on. It's Survivor, New Zealand style. Treasure Island. Treasure Island. This is the dirty kitchen. Oh, you gotta get a shot of this. This is the bathroom. But we're not allowed to put toilet paper down the toy toy. That's gross, huh? Eee! Got like clothes everywhere. Look at all those clothes. It's great. I know. It's awesome. And I'm just gonna go back and do my makeup again. Yeah, I'm pretty conceited. I usually put loads of makeup on before the show because I'm a pizza face. Would you like pepperoni or cheese? Should I leave my hair down? So you get nervous? Yeah. I, sometimes I like hyperventilate and I have to have like a brown bag. <sighs> no, not that bad. But I do get nervous, especially when I know people in the audience. Like tonight, I'm gonna know some people in the audience. <laughs> the road um it's fun i meet all kinds of people i don't know it's just like vacation it's a bit hard and it's a bit it's good it's my first store it's one of the best christian bands so i'm like on tour with them hanging out with them and they actually laugh at my jokes it's awesome when you're listening to music yeah. what do you listen to I listen to, right now, I'm listening to <sighs> Patty Griffin. She's like rock chick, plays acoustic and electric. Beautiful melodies, solid melodies. Um, listening a bit to Nicole Norman. I love her in-depth theories, not theories, her stories, I guess. I listen to a lot of Bjork. Not really listening to a whole lot because I'm dealing with music every night. It's probably enough to drive me insane. You do look like a jazz chick. <laughs> I do? Yeah. That's a good thing. What do jazz chicks look like? Sophisticated. Sophisticated? <laughs> yeah. Me? Smart. So smart? Well, too bad I'm in the ninth grade for the second year. <laughs> I'm especially skilled in other places. I bought for $7 because I made it myself. I drew this. Isn't that awesome? Are you almost ready? Oh, I like it.
like, I always want it to be a gift. I don't want it to be a gig. I hate that. I really do. And everyone thinks I'm like, superstar and I, you know, like, rock star. But that's not how I am at all. Like, I, I I'm just some little kid from California who plays the guitar and sings. And I just, I write what I think needs to be written. I write what I deal with. I actually, I write what I want to say to people that I can't say through my mouth, I guess. It's just easier that way. I'm not a huge deep person, like, I might seem like really deep right now or something, but I'm not. <laughs> I'm really afraid of death, actually, too. I'm afraid that I'll be 80 one day, and everybody I know will be passed on, I'll just be waiting. I have lots of songs to write about, lots of things to write about. I have like this writer's block that I've had for like six months. It really stinks. I guess. You know what, you hate your parents so much, you miss them. Pretty special, you know that. There's a lot to have to fill, and it's fine for tonight. Under the circumstances, so I'm gonna tell Aaron. Yes. And your other 15 minutes, and, tell him and I'll bring, bring Barry. Can Can he bring the box with him right now? Yeah. Just so we can go over a couple things. That really is a lot of pressure. Well, yes. I'm still I'm still in this solid kind of mood, but it just really is a lot of pressure of me just being on the stage. We gotta lift the. My best friend plays the drums. I learned my first riff. Ah! Ah! Okay, I, I can do this.